morning, so uh, I'm not in Myanmar. I'm in Bangkok, I'm still on Christmas holidays. I've just popped across because I've got to take care of some medical and some dental. And uh, yeah, I'm just walking around the local side streets where I'm staying here at the moment. And so I find a hair salon at the first call of the day. So let's go. Alrighty, so let's head over to Sap and Taksim Station. And I'm going to get the metro to head over to Prakana Market. Because I need some shoes today, so let's go do that. I'm at Victory Monument and time to do my favourite part of getting around Bangkok, grab bike taxi. Let's go. So now I'm standing at the entrance to Pachaburi 21 opposite uh, Platinum Fashion Mall. So it's Platinum, Pratinam, as the Thais call it. And I'm on the hunt for shoes, so let's go. can see through here it's pretty crazy because there's motorbikes passing through there's traders purchasing from here with trolleys so uh, you just got to be careful and watch your step as you go through there's an awful lot of clothes here but it's not really what I'm after I need shoes today clothes I generally buy from the second-hand market there's a huge one here in Thailand but uh, I just don't have time to get out there and do that because this is just a quick trip for me at the moment. I've just come across in my Christmas holidays. We're just at the start of January now, so it's a lot quieter here in Bangkok. And uh, I usually just come over here to do medical and dental and all that kind of stuff. I've been coming to Thailand for years as an international teacher. It doesn't matter what country I'm in. For a lot of years I lived in China, so I would still always come to Thailand to do my medical. Anyway, I'm trying to find some sneakers today because my Adidas shell tops uh, need replacing. Whereas with these bags, these seem to be the bags of the moment. Every time I come to Thailand, there's some new bag that's currently the hot thing. So now everybody wants this type of bag. I have no idea why. Alright, so Bioke new fashion area. Ah, that's what I'm looking for. I want to tuck down this laneway. These pants, these look cool. So cool. I'm oh, getting ready for Chinese New Year. New shoes! Okay, what I'm after. Okay. Alright. Shoes, shoes, shoes. Okay. So I'm going to tell you, uh, let you in on a secret. I don't actually come to any of these markets to buy stuff because you wander around here for hours, which is fun for a lot of tourists, but uh, I find it just much easier to buy stuff online. So in Thailand, it's called Shopee, and that's how I got a hold of, I'm using a DJI Pocket 3, which currently is impossible to get a hold of. If you try and uh, order it from DJI, from Myanmar, they won't, take, they won't even reply to you because it's selling out so fast. So I hopped onto Shopee, and I found a vendor at the MBK Centre, and he happened to have one. It's a smart business idea, because it's just charging an extra hundred dollars, but I could get my hand on it. Because going to DJI, they couldn't give two figs to help you. They don't want to take your orders. So uh, now it's a lot easier for me to get around and vlog, but uh, yeah, I don't skip up here. 
here but I don't actually come you just waste so much time at these markets so uh, yeah I just use Shopee and everything comes to me because at the moment it's just a quick five-day trip for medical that I'm here in my work holidays because it's the start of January as I said I don't have time to set up the shop account and get verified because um, I've got a new Thai number now I can't use my old account so I've got to come out here and hunt for stuff which I really don't enjoy the weather's fine at the moment it's a lot cooler than it usually is here in Thailand same as for Myanmar but uh, yeah it's good for people that like to do this for a week shopping but uh, you can get better prices and get better discounts if you actually just shop online So I'm bored with walking around in circles in there. I can't find what I want. So I'm gonna get the bike taxi, head back to the BTS, and make my way over to Chattachak Weekend Market and see if I have more luck there. See, here we are at the start to the market been years since I've come out here so I guess it's a fun thing to do on a weekend oh shoes okay here we go this is it this is what I'm looking for better luck here Okay, now I, it, it was worth it to track out here, so uh, I think there's a few stores here that have what I'm after. The good old uh, Vans, Nikes, Converse, yeah, just old school classic stuff. Okay, so that's 38. Oh no, the Sambas I already have. N uh, shell top, this one. This one, shell top. Yeah, black colour because white I already have. Tricky, tricky, sorry. If, yeah, if you help me, I will buy three because I don't like shopping market, I like shopping yeah, yeah. online. <laughs> you try, man. You try. All right, so I've got Nike Dunks and I've got Black Adidas Samba. Shell tops. All right, let's see how we're going. So good. All right, okay, try that. All right, so I got three pairs of shoes. I got some Nike Dunks, some Sambas and some Vans, and he did me a nice price. 2,000 baht for three pairs. I saw him selling one pair for 900 baht. So that was really lovely of him. So I've got three pairs and I'm still looking for my shell tops. Hey, sweetie. Yeah. <laughs> I like you. Added us Mecca Wall. Found it. Alright, I see half size, madame.
Okay, got him, so pressure's off. All right, so sneaker buying's done. Now I'm free, pressure's off. I can go and check out the rest of the market. It's a very fun day out here at Chatter Track. So things come in all sorts of prices. I think there's a refurb sneaker, so they're 350 baht. And the other ones are new, I got for 2,000 baht for three pairs. So you can find everything at any price point you like. I prefer here to Pratinam and I really don't like MBK market. I just think that it's uh, too much of a markup there. Okay, after a successful shoe shopping trip, time to take a break. Looks very exciting. I've ordered some prawns and the classic Thailand mango sticky rice. Okay, thank you. Looks good. So I've decided this is a pretty fun day out. Practically speaking, it's much more efficient and you can price check better by shopping online. But uh, it's good to come out. And I added up everything. So that was 2,300 baht for four pairs of sneakers. And that works out about $16.50 US each. It's pretty good. Do I spy jewelry? This looks nice. All right, I can get fantastic stuff living in Myanmar, much cheaper than Thailand. But this little costume jewelry, it's fun. What is that section now? So all the handmade stuff, so lovely. Oh, cool boy stuff. <laughs> Definitely couldn't wear some of these at work. That'll lose your job. I could say that there was a sensible way to do this market but uh, I've got my shoes I've had a wander around I allowed myself to get lost here it was a lot of fun but uh, I'm gonna head back now because I can feel my energy kind of flagging so uh, let's head back to the train station now and uh, see where I'm gonna go next I'm not really sure to head on the home straight to the BTS. So I've been home, dropped off the packages, had a small rest and uh, now I'm heading to Robinson's in Bangrak to pick up the last few bits and pieces because I'm heading back to Myanmar tomorrow. Okay, okay here's my driver. Ah, uh, no, no, <laughs> number two, sorry, sorry. Not easy, Bangkok. They sound like song, but oh, 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 you're cute. I give you five star. I like you. Okay, here is okay. Yeah, here, okay, more easy. Kaponka. Yeah, good job, good idea. I give you five stars. You're so cute. Kaponka, bye bye. All right, I found the boots here after some uh, multivitamins, and then let's go and check out the night market along here. Banana smoothie. 
banana smoothie. Thank you. non-stop shopping fest here in Bangkok everywhere you go just uh, never ends <laughs> Bangkok runs me out of energy before Bangkok runs out cheers banana smoothie it's not bad so that's not a bad view is it not a bad view at all. So that's sort of how I've been spending the last few days here. It's a very busy and very exhausting city. I know that uh, if you don't live in Asia, it's probably a very nice holiday, particularly to escape European winter. But uh, for me, I just find I just don't need so much consumerism. So I'm very happy and I'm really looking forward to going back home to Myanmar. I really love my life in Myanmar. To me, it's the people that make it. So uh, big city life, it's uh, very different to my life, it, even though Yangon is, uh, is also a big city. But uh, yeah, I really miss the calmer pace of life where people have time to make that human connection. So uh, anyway, catch you in the next one.